Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Hennessy Sports, a very good evening and welcome to Championship Boxing here at Gorsebrook Leisure Centre in Dagenham. Our officials this evening are all appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Our first contest this evening is a light middleweight contest of eight three-minute rounds. Firstly, introducing in the blue corner, wearing black trunks, trimmed with yellow, finding out a stamp board on seven. He weighed in at 11 stone, two pound. Tonight competes in his 129th professional contest. Please welcome Ernie Smith. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the red trunks, uh, trimmed with white, fights from Shepherd's Bush, weighed in at 10 stones, seven and three quarter pounds. He's undefeated as a professional, 13 uh, wins from 13 contests, four wins coming by way of knockout, presenting John O'Donnell. <laughs> Time giver, Mr. Greg Hugh, the Referee in charge of the action, Mr. Dave Paris, and this is eight three minute rounds. Likewise, you know the rules. Punch with a knuckle part of the glove. If one head goes down, the other leg goes the first return to forward. Break when I tell you to, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, good luck to you both. Seconds out. Well, John O'Donnell in the red trunks here has played to some pretty big reviews. Certainly his promoters, Mick Hennessy, think that he might be going places in the business. So far, he's unbeaten in 13 contests. In here with the journeyman Ernie Smith from Stourport in Worcestershire, 28 years of age, but in his 129th fight here, he's in the black trunks. O'Donnell's very really likes to come out with his right hand down from that southpaw stance. Ready to just flick it out and just, just, just find the target uh, with Ernie Smith. This is just part of the education, really, for O'Donnell. They're not taking too many chances with him at this stage of the game. O'Donnell doesn't want to be too slight with Smith because now and again he's getting caught cleanly with, uh, with a jab. And if, if Smith gets a bit of confidence about himself, he may follow it through with a big right hand. So he wants to be careful, O'Donnell. A couple of good left hands from O'Donnell, who's 21 years of age, so he will keep improving. As you can see, he's pretty lanky, giving away over half a stone here to Smith. That shouldn't matter too much. Not much head movement from Smith, who has been stopped a couple of times recently. So will he be able to go the eight rounds? It is a question. O'Donnell's not wasting any shots at all. Every punch is right on the mark and very, very accurate. to keep his gloves pretty low, doesn't he? He does, but then again, he, it depends on the opponent you've got stood in front of you. You'll be confident to stand close if you if you can gauge his speed and gauge, and gauge his power, and it's about that little bit of respect as well. I think a, a bit more respect from uh, O'Donnell to Smith, and then uh, we'd see him move uh, and get his hands up a bit more, but he's now starting to turn it on a lot and start the combination to work Smith right. over. O'Donnell in almost arrogant control in this opening round with Southpaw leads, and then left hands whipped into head and body as well he looks very composed and confident in there i must say he's trying to draw the lead out of smith uh, he's popping him with the jabs and popping him with the, uh, the left crosses he's trying to get something bad out of smith and, and it's actually harder for a fighter if a fighter's not throwing anything back it's, it's easy to lead off his lead So looks a little marked up already around the face as Ernie Smith. Stopped in three by Mark Thompson recently and in three rounds again by Denton Vassal. Those fights in July and September. He's got a lot of miles on the clock, all right. Smith had O'Donnell's very, very sharp with those hands as well. Stepping it up slowly but surely through the round. Nice and accurate, isn't he? As you said, Johnny, not wasting too many. 
Good round for him, that. Okay. Yeah. Two legs Yeah. Robert McCracken, Tony Sims, Mark Seltzer, the uh, Hennessy team in the corner. Yeah. Yes, sir. Just keep keep at the target area. You know he's hit hard. One two ball. One two ball. Got a languid quality him about him, hasn't he? This O'Donnell. Yes, yes, yes. It's very deceiving because you know which hand he's going to lead with. And from a southpaw stance, he'll he'll throw that back left hand shot, and it's the last the last shot you'll expect because it's a, the, the hand that's furthest away and he's accurate with it as well he'll drop it down to the body and bring the right hand down like a chopping hook put your work together all right because oh, yeah. you had him walking that man yeah. right? and he just held you right? if you maintain oh, all right? don't switch off all right? six up round two second round here then with uh, john o'donnell in the red trunks and Ernie Smith, who's been in with the likes of James Hare, Lenny Dawes, Michael Jennings, Nigel Wright, Takalu, Jav Kalik. Been around the business a long time now. Ernie Smith is a good gauger for guys coming through as well. You can see if he, he, he's how they deal with Ernie Smith and how they can dominate him. And if he, he lets them, um, if they let him mess them around and, and, and fubble his way through a fight, then you can use your gauge how good a fight is going to be, or if, uh, how he is at the time. Not much coming back from Smith, though, at the moment. Not quite sure how much of a proper test this really is for O'Donnell at this stage. But he can't get through O'Donnell's guard. O o o O'Donnell, at times, will put his hands up and he'll just rest them on Smith's hands. So Smith doesn't know which, one, which punch to throw, which direction to throw it from. And he's, he's willing to just stay there not even a foot away from him and just pop the shots out because he's fast enough to do it looking classy O'Donnell but he's able to do exactly what he wants because there's nothing coming back from Smith really and he better throw some punches soon otherwise referee Dave Paris is going to start taking a rather closer interest and he hasn't thrown a punch now for I don't know 15 right. 20 seconds the, the frustrating thing for Smith is the punches are that fast from O'Donnell he doesn't know which way to move and it might be hurting him like a gnat but eventually these constant shots will make a difference and it'll make a big impression to the referee as well right. O'Donnell who comes from Shepherd's Bush in West London not far from the Queen's Park Rangers football ground of his 13 wins four have come inside schedule that's not a fantastic stoppage record at this uh, early stage of his career when he's just fighting trial horses basically I understand it and by I'd always side with the sort of fighter that learns his boxing technique first before he gets out that, that punch power but then at least he knows his basics and when he needs it he can get himself out of trouble the punch is a bonus think he can acquire punch power then I think with time uh, I can't see why not he's got the speed and I think speed produces power an accumulation of punches persuading Ernie Smith that he needed a break there. Particularly one to the body, I fancy. And he stays down, didn't want any more of it. Just had too much for him, John O'Donnell and Ernie Smith. I suppose it's a compliment that a guy who's been around and been in with some good fighters in his time didn't want any more of the youngster who really turned it on there but uh, probably needs something a bit more of a test now. Yeah, yeah, this wasn't even a sweat breaker for, o for O'Donnell, and I think it was the attrition of punches and the speed of punches that broke Ernie Smith's heart. He, he wasn't, I know it sounds silly to say, he, he wasn't hurt that bad, but he just didn't know what to do or get out of the way of the o O'Donnell's shots. At times, you see, you, uh, O'Donnell was just taking his time. He, he punched long and then dropped him down to the body. That was with the beginning of the end for Smith. You know, he, he, he confused him with a long shots, long jab, long le uh, left cross. Then, boom, stepped inside, dropped it down to the body. The last thing he's going to expect is getting used to getting hit on top. It's expected that uh, O'Donnell's next fight will be for the English title against Stuart Elwell early in the new year. So let's hope that one comes off for him. He's, he's ready for something like that now. Definitely, I think this kid will, uh, will easily acquire a British title as long as he keeps his head down and listens to his trainer. I think it, there's no reason why he shouldn't. Just didn't want to get up there, Ernie Smith, and I think that is a tribute to the work that O'Donnell had done, though he is getting towards maybe the end of his uh, resilient career, Ernie Smith. 
think graduation day will come very soon for Ernie Smith. Um, for, for O'Donnell, should I say. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 20 seconds of round two, the referee's count reaches 10. The winner, by count out, John O'Donnell. <laughs> and appreciations, please, Ernie Smith. <laughs> Well, John, your fifth stoppage win. Is your power improving? Yeah, definitely. I'm starting to build into a proper welterweight now and uh, I feel my punches are having more effect on my opponents now. And as you can see there, the body shot, especially when I hit him to the body, first body shot, he went down. You're unbeaten in 14 now. Are you ready for a step up in class? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I've got the English title on 19th of Jan. 20th, like, 20th of Jan. And uh, against Stewart. Stuart Elwell, he's unbeaten. Is that a good test for you? Definitely, yeah. It's two unbeaten fighters in there, two southpaws. Be a good little scrap, but uh, I think uh, I know who the winner's going to be. Your manager, Mick Hennessy, here with you. Mick, how good is John O'Donnell? Sensational. This is, this is one of the hottest prospects in world boxing. He's incredible. We've been saying it for a time, but he's just grown into welterweight now, and he'll do that to any welterweight in the country. Kevin Anderson, any of them. You bring them on, this kid will stop a lot of them. Now he's going longer rounds. He's got more time to open them up, body and head, and, and he's going to show his class. Unbelievable. Well done, Snipe. Cheers, cheers, cheers.